Hey guys, King Gath here with a special release for Sim Settlements. Today marks the one year anniversary of the release of Sim Settlements, and for that I wanted to do something special. So over the past few months, I've been working together with a bunch of different add-on pack authors, and we have created the first of what I'm calling a Mega Pack. So this is Mega Pack Year One, and it includes over a hundred different buildings from throughout the Sim Settlements community, and a handful of buildings that have never been released before. So I'm gonna kind of tour around while I talk about this. Uh, there I've got a bunch of different buildings building plans built up in this settlement that are from the mega pack. So the first thing I wanted to do was to get a hold of some of the building plans from the packs that the authors have kind of moved on from. Um, so we had six authors who are no longer working on their add-on packs who gave us permission to include all of their building plans. So the following add-ons are included in their entirety. Home Improvement by Kev Ball, Brian 84's Residentials, Jib's Residentials, Trailer Park Dreams by Mimaf, Bray's Defenses, and PC Doug's add-ons. So those are all included in their entirety and they've been brought up to date. I went ahead and added some of the features that they were lacking from the current incarnation of some settlements. For example, the uh, direct select only, so like those giant giant oversized buildings won't show up randomly on your plots. You'll, you only will get those if you direct select them from the building plan select menu. Um, and then I've also added the ability for those add-on pack authors to come back seamlessly. So that was one of the, the concerns I wanted to address was the fact that some of those add-on pack authors, when I asked them about using their building plans, they said they might come back and add more in the future. And so with the 3.1.5 patch of some settlements, which I just released yesterday, you definitely want to go grab that before you install this mega pack. It adds the ability for add-on packs to give over control of plots. So that means that if, for example, you were to install Jib uh, Jib's mod that has these tree forts, it would automatically huh? detect that. The Mega Pack would then give control of this plot over to Jibs so that if he made any changes to this design, you could refresh the plot and start seeing those changes. Now, this opened up the possibility for another type of building plan that we started adding, which are donated building plans from active mod authors who are still working on their add-on packs. So, for example, in front of me, you'll see the Rad Roach enclosure from Altair P's Animal Farm. And so if you find a building plan in this mega pack that you really love and you want to get more stuff of that style or type, uh, it's a good idea to come check out the plaque. So head over to your plot, hit look at plaque, and on the second line we added a note that tells you which add-on pack it's from. So you can see this is Rad Roach Enclosure from Altair P's Animal Farm. So whenever you find a plot you really like, check out the plaque and then go download the full add-on pack and it will integrate seamlessly without any duplications or with you having to reset your plots so uh, that's going to open up a ton of new possibilities i think for us to create some uh, com combination packs that you guys can use to get a taste of different uh, add-ons and then use the ones that match your style i especially think this is going to be huge for those of you guys who are new to sim settlements who are maybe overwhelmed by all the different files available uh, out there for some settlements and now you've got uh, some singular packs you can grab to try out add-ons and figure out which ones that you're really going to like. And then the final thing that this mega packs allow me to do are to continue to release more and more buildings myself for Sim Settlements, uh, or not just myself, the whole the whole Sim Settlements team. We can keep adding more building plans without having to overinflate the main mod, which has always been a concern. I don't want to get the size of that too big because that would limit Xbox players' ability to use it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Xbox players have a hard two gig limit on the number of mods they can have. So having Sim Settlements continue to grow larger and larger, while not as huge a problem on PC is a, a kind of a deal breaker for Xbox players. This also affords me the chance to kind of create some silly building plans. So as you see in front of me, uh, I really fell in love with the Slocum's Joe kit and I decided to build a building plan out of it. Uh, so that adds a new commercial plot if you have this. Uh, now the, the uh, Slocum's Joe kit is part of the Creation Club and thanks to the Starlight patch, Sim Settlements can now load content dynamically. So if you don't happen to have any of the content we used, those building plans just won't be loaded. And so you won't have a problem. That means that the Mega Pack requires no DLC requires no creation club content but if you happen to have that and we happen to like it and wanted to use those assets we all can win that way i really want to thank here ono he is the creator of sim settlement scrappers add-on he did most of the legwork on merging together all of these different files and getting this mega pack into a good place before i could uh, start implementing some of the ability to pass off plans so thank you sir for all of your hard work 
Uh, I also want to thank the community in general. I mean, one year of some settlements, I had no idea it was going to get this big. I had no idea we were going to have such a wonderful community building up around it. Uh, thank you all for it, whether you've created an add-on pack or you've actually donated money to help us uh, develop some settlements or if you've just been giving us support and positive feedback to help keep some settlements on the right track. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I hope to see a mega pack year two. And uh, we've got lots of great content coming, more patches. Uh, we've got another expansion pack we're hoping to release this year. So lots of good things coming to get us to that year too. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, take care and enjoy the mod.